hit it. Welcome back everyone. Good to see a smiling faces. Jay Nolasco here. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and we have another good day today in another good pickup. So please stay until the end of this video so you can see I picked up and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing also on foot review. And without further ado, let's go shopping. And we got a nice good looking simple shoes for $34.97 with additional 30% off. The Nike Sound of Force sneaker white shoes. Indulge in minimalist appeal with this Sun of Force sneaker by Nike. Constructed premium upper materials, durable soles, and low cut profile. Next one, we got the Nike Air Max Zero Essential. The colorway is black and bright crimson gym red. This low profile sneaker features a textile upper with molded overlays for breathable comfort and booty construction for a snug fit. And here you go Nike Air Max Zero Essential. $49.97 with tradition. Another good deal here a Nike Air Shack in this truck. Retail is $140. Colorway in the triple white. This is the so called Dennis Rodman shoe. And sneaker fans like how the detail of this original Air Shake in this truck were retained in this version, such as the very unique glazing system of medial side and a large shoes and a quilted shroud. And there you go, we got a uh, $49.97 with additional 30% off for Nike Air Shake and the Struck Dennis Rodman shoe. Next, we got the Nike Air Safari QS. Retail is $140. Dressed in black and anthracite color screen, the Nike Air Safari features a black leather upper with perforated detailing and a tongue finish with safari printed overlays. We got it for $64.97 additional 30 percent off next up we got the nike air max vapor max the retail on this is 175 the nike vapor max is a mesh that um, comes with a midnight fog colorway with a primary deep blue design equipped with an olive swoosh that makes for a fall appropriate color scheme and here you go we got a 99.97 additional 30 percent off for Vapor Max. And we have another good deal here, Nike Dual Razor Black for a retail on $120, selling for $34.97, additional 30% off, a good running shoe, and triple black Nike Dual Razor, $34.97, 30% off. Next one, we got the Nike Flyknit Trainer, retail for $150, selling for $49.97, additional 30% off, the colorway is the Golden Beige, and this shoe is a fly knit detailing on the toe box and midfoot. A small reflective heat on the heel tab add pop to the style. And a shoe in midsole boost clean combination of white and black while the tooth is rounded off with a classic gum outsole. And here you go. A very nice good deal. $49.97 additional 30% off for Nike fly knit trainer. Next one, we got the Nike Air Prestro Essential Triple White. Retail is $120, selling for $54.97, additional 30% off. Made with design element from the original 2000 shoe, the Nike Air Presto Essential takes a throwback style and modernizes it so you have the sleek look and premium comfort. The mesh upper helps make sure you have a secure lightweight fit with overlays in support so you'll fit stable and comfortable. I found another good deal here, the Jordan DNA, the retail is 100 selling for $39.97, additional 30% off. The Jordan DNA combines the comfort of a lightweight, flexible feel with the Encore DNA of the historic Jordan brand to create an iconic off-court shoe that Jordan fans will love. Here you go, $39.97, 30% off. I found a good looking basketball shoe here, the Jordan Why Not Zero in triple black selling for $69.97 additional 30% off this shoe is some kind of good performance shoe with um, synthetic skin fuse mesh offer durability and lightweight feel 
and there you go 69.97 additional 30 percent off a basketball another shoe. basketball shoes here the paul george one selling for 59.97 additional 30 percent off this colorway is the violet with for our white accent and then we got the black one with yellow accent this one is really cool and since we're already here in the shoe section we can't miss this slide for 24.97 additional 30 percent off a jordan wings on top of the strap with some kind of uh, white accent on the bottom with 23 number right there and here you go 24.97 additional 30 percent off for slide good deal and i found another good looking basketball shoe the jordan fly knit elevation retail for 170 dollar the jordan fly knit elevation 23 men shoe combines a premium fly knit constructed upper with air cushioning for dynamic comfort this shoe is a foot hugging fly knit is snug and lightweight and durable and it's selling only for 99.97 additional 30 percent off Fill the air both above and below with the Nike Air Max 270 Fly Knit Men's Shoe and it's selling for 109 the retail is 175 this one is very loud good looking shoe very comfortable shoe now we are here in the women's section we got the Nike Women's Air Max 90 LX retail for 130 and selling for 39.99 the Nike Women's Air Max 90 LX, originally named the Nike Air Max 3. The Nike Air Max 90 is popular run and known for its nearly incomparable comfort. Although you can currently find the Air Max 90 in array of material, but the first model was designed with Duramesh, synthetic suede, and synthetic leather. Over the 20 years after the debut, the Air Max 90 still retained its popularity with the infrared model considered one of the greatest sneakers of all time and here you go 39.99 staying here in the women's section we got this uh, nike internationalist women's shoe the colorway is orange and this uh, iconic look inspired by retro nike running style the combination upper has the leather overlays for durable comfort and premium finish still on women's section we got this nike air max sequence to the uh, colorway pale gray light bone retail for 100 selling for 44.97 additional 30 percent off the nike air max sequence 2 uses iconic snacks air in the heel to create smooth comfortable stride no matter how you wear it nike and we're still here in the women's section and we get this collaboration from the vogue and air jordan 3 inspired the magazine editor chief anna winter's signature awok approval stamp this collab takes note from her signature style with details befitting of the fashion icon coming on black base colorway a yeah, sneaker tweeted upper with premium leather and a tongue and heel and here we go job vogue and air jordan 3 awok we are still here in the women's section they got the jordan brand newest air jordan one silhouette the women's exclusive air jordan one zip high and uh mika green colorway our retail is 150 and selling for 49.99 the air jordan one high zip mika green next we're still here in the women's section we got this women's boot nike sf air force one retail is 180 selling for 49.99 this shoe is equipped like never before the af1 gets an upgrade in the nike sf air force one women's boot taking inspiration from the nike special field boots this shoe lets you add military look to your everyday style and there you go 49.99 for Nike women's boot Nike SF Air Force One retail for 108 and here we go we got the Nike Air Vapor Max let's check around the box uh, we got the Vapor Max down here big huge uh, shoes on the top of the box and the front Nike Air Vapor Max R the retail is 175 uh, size 10 and a half personal pair this uh, colorway midnight fog and made in Vietnam so not much going on 
and let's pop it open. Ooh, some kind of reflective. You can see there, blue reflective, some kind. This is the reason not to buy this shoe. Some consumer thought that the Nike Air Vapor Max is a half a size smaller than what they were used to. The shoe felt a little bit narrow. A uh, few testers, there were people who didn't like and uh, the air cushioning system which covers the entire heel area of the sole unit. Uh, while moving around with this shoe, there were runners claim to hear some squeaky noises from the midsole the mesh upper apparently caused some pressure as it encompassed the feet of some testers and the price was observed to be expensive also the midsole was not as soft as a bouncy as some runners had expected and a number of runners complained that the air unit and the midsole had burst after only a short amount of time this is the reason why you buy this shoe. Many purchasers love the design of the Nike Abor Par Max mesh upper unit, stating that it looks looks cool. The different colorways uh, that are available for this shoe receives positive feedback. This shoe felt suitable, lightweighted for daily use, noted a number of runners. Most of those who have tried this shoe wrote that the midsole was comfortable enough to carry the feet um, responsibly throughout the various of activities there were uh, individuals who were able to use this shoe for gym exercise and other sport and they felt that it was efficient there were comments about the vapor max underfoot feel which was apparently as soft as running in clouds bottom line the nike vapor max mesh upper generally received mixed review from consumers and testers many of them felt that this neutral road running shoe was efficient in giving comfort and security to their feet they also felt that it has expensive product that didn't provide the quality that they expected but there were those who appreciated for the features that it was able to give and here you go the nike air vapor max and that's all for this video please leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for the next upcoming video and also like or dislike thank you for watching until then see you in the next video peace